everyone, while we're here, we're back, and today we're doing another anti-MLM video, and for this video we are heading back on over to Reddit, filtering by top post of this week, and just seeing what the Huns have been up to. Another week, so that means more posts of MLMers doing what they do best, which is usually either regurgitating the same information that all of the previous people before them have done, or trying to come off as relatable and humble and whatever they need to get people interested in what they are pretending to be interested in the product, when in reality we know it is to be interested in the opportunity, the job opportunity. Isn't it a great opportunity to invest a bunch of money into something that you have to pull teeth to be able to figure out what they're even selling you to begin with. They're like, it's my business and my products and I make so much money or the person above me makes so much money and look at all this stuff that I or this person has. Isn't that great? It's like, yeah, all of this stuff and this potential and this idea and this maybe is interesting, but what do you do? And something that I'm really hoping for for this week is a meme on the subreddit. I feel like the memes have been really dried up lately. There just isn't as big of an influx of memes on the subreddit as there was, like, I'd say even a few months ago. I just think that people are not posting memes as much, and I've been thinking about maybe not doing meme time at the end of my videos anymore. I feel like maybe I'll only add them if there truly is a meme instead of trying to force a meme out of it. I feel like Memes should come organically and never be forced. <laughs> I don't know, so we'll have to see what this week has to offer. And with all of that, let's get started into reading these posts. This post is titled, Are They Confused? And OP writes, Searching Facebook Anti-MLM and came across this post from last year. How can you say you are the biggest anti-MLM person, but share a licensed Sensi product picture in a link directing them to a Huns website for purchase? So it looks like a year ago somebody posted, I am the biggest anti-MLM person out there, but I love everything Sensi. And they are releasing this gym tomorrow and I can't wait to get one. Set your alarm for 10 a.m. tomorrow and grab yours here and then they link some sort of Scentsy person, and it looks like it is the, is a friend's Scentsy warmer. Now, I can understand people liking the specific branded Scentsy warmers. In fact, when it comes to Scentsy, I think that is the one that the most people have told me, like, I hate so much that they're an MLM because I genuinely like their warmers. Like, they come out with really cute warmers that I really like, and I totally understand that. I absolutely get that like if you're a friends fan i totally get enjoying that but it's just to say you're the biggest anti-mlm person and then to be promoting essentially an mlm and linking to a hun it's like you're kind of losing you you lose that i'm the biggest anti-mlm person out there people who are anti-mlm you don't see them out here promoting an mlm like i can understand if they you know, came onto this Facebook post and they said, I have a confession, like, I'm such a big anti-MLM person, but I have a weakness to the show Friends and they're coming out with a Scentsy Warmer and I, I may have to break down and just buy one. I could understand that and I think a certain amount of people would definitely get behind them and say, like, I told, that's relatable, I get it, blah, 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 but it's like, I don't know, it's like to say you love everything Scentsy, it's like, like I get loving a certain company, I guess, but it's like you cannot say you're a huge anti-MLM person and then be promoting an MLM. Like I just don't think those two can really go hand in hand for me personally. Again, I can understand where they're coming from to a certain extent, like I have given Scentsy at least some praise that they are, as far as I know, like the only like wax smell scent warmer MLM out there. Like they at least have somewhat of a unique product as opposed to all the health and wellness ones or any of the beauty ones or even the jewelry ones. Like at least this one does do something different and I so wish they were not an MLM. Like I really, really do. Like Scentsy 
was one of the only NLMs that I did buy from back in the day. And I had gone to a friend's like Scentsy house party thing. Like I understand. But if you're anti-MLM, like you're anti-MLM because it's, again, the products are separate. It's a separate thing. And if you really, really love this, then, you know, you could probably find it on eBay or Poshmark, you know, find other alternatives to get it instead of going onto an anti-MLM Facebook group and like promoting it. And part of me thinks that maybe this person was in an MLM, was in Scentsy, and they were like almost trying, like this is how they're trying to get people to buy. It's like they're like, getting in with the enemy, so to speak, and they're just like, oh my god, guys, I'm totally anti-MLM, but, like, I love Scentsy, and you should totally buy this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm totally anti-MLM. Yeah, obviously, they're, it's like, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe they're just saying that, and they truly are just in the MLM, or, like, their sister is or something, and this was how they wanted to help promote the product, I don't know. Comments on the say, kind of the same way, so many Huns claim that they were anti-MLM or skeptics when they make their introduction videos. It's similar to born-again Christians claiming in their testimonies that they lived a life of sin and only changed when they found Jesus. And OP writes, that makes sense now with your explanation. Same person comes back and replies, I really think it's a Hun trying to trick anti-MLMers into buying from her store. I'm sure she thought, Oh my god, the best way to trick the mean, jealous, anti-MLM people, like, it will seriously impress my upline. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking is that it, it's, their whole thing is like, maybe they were in so many Facebook groups and so many people were posting their Scentsy stuff and they're like, well, where would someone not be promoting Scentsy products? Probably in an anti-MLM group because they dislike MLM so much. That's probably the perfect place to go promote because nobody else would be promoting there. Like, that's getting, like I said, getting with the enemy because we're the enemy because we hate them so much for just trying to run a small business. It's not about that at all. Saying that we hate women and that we hate people who are just trying to get by. That is the furthest from it. And, hey, if this is how this person tried to promote their stuff... I'd say good for them, but I can only assume that this post was probably not up long in an anti-MLM group, or the comments really let them have it. This post is titled, This is why people hate Huns. The mean girl energy is nauseating. And OP writes, I don't understand how they think they can recruit non-Huns when they speak like this. I'm sure they're mainly marketing to the seasoned MLMers because they're obviously more likely to fall for the scam, but there's no way you could ever recruit someone not in the industry with this kind of attitude. She's the very definition of a mean girl, and it makes me so mad that she thinks she's God's gift. Being broke at some point, points, in your life is part of the game. Staying broke? Baby, that's some personal on you type shit. Oh my. Boy, that is start now with attitude right away. And yeah, usually when you start out with attitude, it's the best way to try and recruit people because they love to be talked down to. They just love it. I don't feel bad for people who don't have things because they refuse to get off their ass and try. I don't feel bad for people who want more but don't do a thing to make it happen or take any risks. I don't feel bad for people who choose to be broke. And yeah, I said choose to be because what you don't change, you are choosing. Not sorry. I have five one-on-one -on -one mentoring positions for the remainder of August. These spots will be for people like me. Highly motivated, risk takers, coachable, determined, hungry. Those people will work hand in hand with not only me, but my millionaire mentors. And we will guarantee your investment back and we'll be closing your first 20 sales. Usually only do five. <laughs> you will get you started. Oh, sorry. We will get you started with zero dollars and have a hundred thousand dollars in your bank account by 2025. Read that again. I will be walking you through hand in hand 
How to make $20,000 commission months. August will be the first. How to make upwards of $8,800 per hour of work slash sales. How to continue to stack bonuses. Fully paid for life regardless of any more sales made. On top of your 20K plus commissions. Bonuses range from 5K extra to $80,000 extra. How to build six different accounts that you can one day transfer to your children or beneficiaries to build actual real generational wealth. Once willed, the beneficiary of that account won't have to lift a finger. Just guaranteed monthly pay for their entire life because of your work. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not, and I'm putting my name on that. If any of this sounds good to you, DM me or comment below and I'll reach out with details and a business call booking link. This isn't little MLM shit where I say I have five spots but actually have unlimited. No, this is the big leagues, friends, and I do only have five spots available for coaching this month. First come, first serve. It's like she knows the MLM tactics People are starting to see through that. Oh no! So you better say that it's not that. I, if anybody, and I agree with, with OP here. If anybody reads this and believes it, like they're clearly just in a very desperate situation or they very highly value this person. Because to me, I'm like, this is a scam. This person is lying. This person is exaggerating. Because I don't know what they're doing. I have no idea what the job is. And all you're doing is telling me that I can make $8,800 per hour of work plus 20,000 commission plus 80,000 extra. Yeah, but what is the job? What, am, what would I be doing? Why don't you give an idea in that? And you're stating that you get started for zero dollars and that by the end of the year, so in like four or five months, that, well, I guess you said in your account, oh, by 2025. So you're stating that in five months, people are gonna have $100,000 in their bank account. That is such a huge, massive, well, lie, but exaggeration. And also the difference is, is that this person, where is it? At the bottom here, they said, those people work hand in hand with not only me, but my millionaire mentors, meaning, She's not a millionaire. She's not one of these people that has all this crazy money coming in. Because if she was, she would not be posting this. She would not be talking like this at the very beginning to people and being like, Wow, you're poor and broke. That's disgusting and I hate you. <laughs> and it's like, what a gross way to attract people. It's like, are you poor? That's a you problem. And you should change that because you're doing it on purpose. Yes, people choose to not have money. You're right. That's totally on them. That's totally their choice. And the only way for them to get out of it is for them to join an MLM business. Makes perfect, obvious sense when you look at every other MLM and you look at every other dis income disclosure statement and it shows that majority of people make $100,000 a month. Wait a second. No, it doesn't. It says that 1% of people maybe make that. So I'm gonna have to say that you're lying and you're rude and you're just doing this so that you can make money because you don't care about helping people and you don't only have five spots. I'm going to call out that as well. You have as many as you want, as many people that are going to sign up. Like if 15 people got in and said, hey, let me do this. I want to get coached. You wouldn't say no to them. You would not say no to them. And to say that it's only zero dollars, I don't believe you on that either. Because this would just be a job. But this is some over-exaggerational nonsense. And where is this whole generational wealth thing coming in? That's a brand new tactic that I feel like they've been using a lot more. And has anyone actually done that? Like, has anyone actually ever passed away and given their, I guess, downline <laughs> to their children and then their children just don't have to do anything? Like, they just continuously make money off of their parents downline. I don't think that that's a, that's a thing. I really don't think that that's a thing because I don't think that has 
happened yet unless uh, the child, I guess, takes over and then works on it. Because you can't just pass that down. It's not a business to pass down. Again, if the company goes under or a bunch of people leave the downline, then they're not getting that same amount of money each and every month. That's just not happening. Oh, see what the comments say on this. She's making extremely unrealistic claims. You should report this. And somebody responds, agreed. My husband is in actual sales and none of what she says is real. Commissions for life, for nothing. This is a full on scammer territory. Or this is full on scammer territory. Yeah, exactly. It, all of these are just unrealistic, over-exaggerated claims. Like you cannot say that you can get in for no money in four months that you're gonna guarantee that they make $100,000 and make all this extra money and be able to take care of their children. And if you pass on, then your children are good for life. Like you can't promise these things because these things are, you, you cannot do that in an MLM. You cannot make these promises of money. It just isn't something you can do because we have eyes. We can look at the income disclosure statement and see that that's not true. And even herself, she admits in her own posts that she herself is not making millions. It's like, oh, I will mentor you and my millionaire mentors, the people who are making so much money. Like, look at them. Isn't it exciting to see what we can all make? Why would I trust you when you start out insulting me, you over-exaggerate all of these claims and you're not even making that much money? You're not even making the money that you're claiming that you can help me make? I'm not gonna believe a word that you say. You are a liar, you are over-exaggerating and that yeah i think they should report her because you cannot make claims like this you cannot make income claims like this this is beyond insane this one is titled no pads out ladies here's the formula and i'm going to read the huns real post before the op's post so it's the hun posted a reel and it says your best friend also buys a product pack and gets a 210 dollar voucher 85 dollars your mom or sister also buys a product pack and gets a $210 voucher, $85. Help four girls with their hair routines using basic systems, $85. Commission is $55 and it is a total of $310. So you take that $310, you got a block bonus because you recruited like six people five people or whatever so that's 210 dollars and then you get a rank bonus because obviously you got enough people to be able to rank up so that's 280 dollars and then it is a total of 800 dollars it says plus a 210 dollar voucher i don't know where that factors in but basically because you recruit your mom and your sister and your best friend and four random girls you made $800 <laughs> or maybe it's because you recruited your mom and your sister and then you got four people to buy a certain amount of products because you do have to sell a certain amount of product in order to achieve the rank so there is that but I do appreciate how it says right here commission is like $55 even though they say like it can be greater than $55 but it seems like you're making more money recruiting right here with the $85 than you are by selling the product. That's so strange. And then right here, you have your block bonus where you're at the top and you have four people below you and it looks like a certain shape, but of course this is not a pyramid scheme. It can't be. They have overpriced shampoo products. <laughs> then we're gonna go up to what OP says. OP says, ready for this ladies? It's so simple. Step one, recruit your best friend, cost $375. Step two, Recruit your mom or sister, cost $375. Step three, sell to four random people, $200 each. Total cost to the people you love, $1,750. Total profit to you is your integrity and reputation. Step four, do this over and over until your soul completely exits your body. Now you are a proper boss babe. Exactly, and let's say that this person does do this. They get in and they recruit their mom and their sister because you know that's the easiest thing to do or they recruit their mom and their best friend, whatever. And then they just happen to know four people who do buy from them. And that is a one month like, oh my God, I got so much money, I got so much commission, this was so easy, this was so simple. And then now you gotta do it again the next month and the next month and the next month 
and so on and so forth. And not just getting recruiting two people each month, they're going to expect you to recruit more than two people each month because they expect certain people to fall off. And then on top of needing to continuously recruit, then you need to get on your mom, sister, best friend to also recruit and get people involved under them and then get them to get their mom and sister and best friend to also recruit and so on and so forth every single month. This is a constant thing. So, oh, and those bonuses that you got at the very beginning that were nice, those don't, you don't get those anymore. So all that money right up front that was very nice and gave you this good feeling, good positive uplifting feeling that you can do this, it's your own business, you're making so much money right away. Oh my God, you're a boss babe. That's just the one, that's just the beginning hype. That's just what they do. They make it seem so easy, so simple, so easy to recruit. It's easy to recruit when it's friends and family who are willing to help you out. But then when you have to get other people involved and you have to get those people to also recruit, that's when it starts to get a little more difficult, a little bit harder than just how simple and easy they make this out to be. And also how pyramid schemey they make it look by showing that you actually make more money by recruiting <laughs> and getting bonuses from recruiting, like the rank bonus, $280 for getting two people involved versus the block bonus, which I guess is like when you sell to four people. So you get more of a bonus from recruiting than you do from selling the product, but it's totally not a pyramid scheme, guys. Comments on this say, so I'd have to coerce two people to join the company and four people to buy something with $85 or more to get $55. And OP says, correction, you have to coerce sister, mother, and best friend plus four other people. Yeah, it's just, and yeah, because this person said I have to coerce two people to join the company and four people to buy something. It's, it's very confusing how they, I mean, they make it seem like it's simple. Like all you have to do is get your mom or best friend to buy a $210 pack is what I'm guessing. And then you get $85 from that. And I'm like, couldn't you just ask your mom or sister or best friend to give you $210? And then you could probably turn that into more and be able to pay them back. Or if they're just giving it to you to help you fund whatever actual business or hobby or startup or whatever that you are interested in that seems like a better uh way to invest money into you by giving you the money and being like here use this for your business adventure use it towards something instead of like here let me get this big company 210 dollars yeah i guess i'm getting some shampoo out of it and you're getting 85 dollars out of it but now i'm also in this pyramid scheme with you it seems like a like a lose-lose for everybody, except for Monate. This post is titled, Stop Trying to Make Social Selling Happen. Very, uh, Mean Girls-esque. <laughs> and the post says, People used to laugh at network marketing, but not anymore. This is not your mama's old-school MLM. What we're doing is social selling. The way we shop has changed. The world has changed. Today, you can use a product you love, share about it on social media in your free time, and make an extra income while doing it. It really is that simple. Quit overthinking it. Come do this thing with me. Hashtag take action. Hashtag take the leap. Huh. I feel like I've read this exact thing before. So this is probably a, a copy and paste thing. I I know you're surprised that Huns would copy and paste things? No way. I have to disagree with what she's saying here. One, that, um, that this is not your mom's old school MLM. The fact that you have to recruit in order to make money, it definitely still sounds like the old school way of being in, a, in an MLM. So I'm going to disagree with you there. And saying that what you're doing is social selling. I mean, you are talking about the product and hoping to make a commission off of it via the internet. I guess I will give it to you there. But you can't say, um, 
today you use a product and you just talk about it on social media and you make it extra income while doing it. I'm going to have to disagree that that's all you do because that's what two MLMs have changed into is an affiliate marketing strategy instead of the recruitment side of things via Saint and Rodana Fields now want to be affiliate marketing where you just talk about promote a product and get a commission based off of how many sales you get and that's it. And that is a huge massive problem to so many people who were reliant only or who were reliant mainly on the MLM aspect of things. Now that it is only affiliate marketing which they claim is what they do. What they do is just social sell, talk about a product and make money from it online. But when they change over to that that's a problem because that's not actually how most people make money and that's not how they really make money. So now that that is the only way they can make money, they're not happy about that. So I'm gonna have to think that that's also true in a different MLM, is that they're using the social selling aspect uh, as a way to get people in because a lot of people know what that is and it's less scary than network marketing MLM. You're just like, you're social selling. It's affiliate marketing. You talk about the product, you make money, that's it. We know it's so much more than that. And now that that is what it is in some other companies, it's a problem. So they use it as a way to get people involved when it's not really what it is. And they run away from the company when it turns into just that. All right, and we have reached the end of the video. So we all know what time it is. It is meme time and I found a meme. So this is a picture of two dogs. <laughs> and one dog is saying, know what is the best passive income? And the other dog says, what? And the one dog side eyes the other dog and says, the selling of the idea of passive income. And if that does not scream, and I was gonna say anti MLM, MLM, nothing does. They are selling the idea of a dream, the idea of passive income is that you come in and you'll get all these customers who are willing to buy time and time and time and month and month and month, all spending the same amount each and every month for forever and you just have to sit back and make all this money you make money while you sleep you make money while doing that and then you know how you can make more passive income by recruiting your friends and family and getting them to do it as well and then you get money based off of their sales so then you have to do even less work and you get all this passive income and it's so easy and so simple and people are like yeah that does sound easy and simple because they're not actually saying it the way that I said it. They're peppering in certain things and really focusing on the passive income, all the potential, all the money, all the this, all the trips, all the that. When we know for a fact that it is so much more than that, it's not easy passive income. It is for the people at the top. The people at the top make passive income people at the top make so much money and have to do absolutely nothing besides sit on like corporate style upline calls and talk to people and keep them motivated keep them interested tell their story for the bajillion time have people feel bad for them have them seem relatable and that all they have to do is stick through it and they too can be like the upline for all this passive income when you look at the reality and in the income disclosure statement show that that's not true, but these uplines who are enjoying this passive income will regurgitate the lie that they too can be where they are one day and be raking in all this passive income. And it's like they make money, yes, by just talking about the dream of passive income. That is what it is. It's like, what is the best passive income? Talking about the idea of passive income. That is truly what it is, even though Passive income is great. Passive income is really nice, but outside of an MLM, like being able to sell a product online, like if you have a digital product and it just continuously makes you money when you already put out the product, you don't have to worry about it and it makes you money, that's great. But constantly having to recruit day in and day out in the hope and the dream and the maybe and the potential of years down the line having passive income, no thank you. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk anything and everything anti-MLM anti in the comments below. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye!